Hey everyone, so for today's tutorial I went for this um, nude tone smoky eye um, using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette um, Tan Pigment from MAC and then just trying to keep um, the lips neutral since we've got kind of like a heavy smoky eye going on with some winged liner. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoy this tutorial and if you want to know how to get this look, just keep on watching. Alright, so to get started on today's look, um, first of all I'm just going to prime my eyes with Painterly Paint Pop by MAC. Um, it's one of my favourite primers so we're just going to do a thin layer of this all over the lid and up to the brow bone. Okay, so once we have um, our primer applied, um, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette today and a pigment from MAC. Um, so the first colour I'm going to go in with is this lovely colour here which is called White Chocolate and we're just going to highlight the brow bone with this. It's one of my favourite colours from this palette just because it gives like a really nice matte highlight to the brow. Um, <clears throat> especially if you're using like shimmery eyeshadows. Okay, so once I have that applied, I'm going to go in with my transition colour. And I'm going to take the colour Salted Caramel. Just to blend this into the crease. This is probably one of my most used colours out of the chocolate bar palette. I love it. And just keep blending and blending until there's no harsh lines. Okay, so for lid colour, I'm going to use one of my favourite pigments from MAC. And it's the tan pigment. And I just love this, it's really shimmery. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to dampen a flat eyeshadow brush just on like a baby wipe or something. Or if you've got Fix Plus you can use it or even some water. But a baby wipe is just handy enough for me. Um, so we're just going to take a little bit of this on the brush. And then what I like to do with the lid of it, I just get the brush and like dip it in. Just so you can get all the pigment onto the brush. And it reduces fallout this way as well. And so we're just going to apply this all over the lid. And when applying this um, pigment like wet, it makes it more, it makes the colour more vibrant and it just gives it like a really nice foiled effect to the lid. And then I'm just going to take that same blending brush I used to apply salt to caramel just to blend out any edges. And then with a different um, blending brush I'm going to go back in with the chocolate bar palette and take in the colour semi sweet. We're just going to put this into the crease again just to deepen it. Give a bit, a bit more depth to the look. So. And then take this in to the inner, the outer corner as well. So just like that for the. Um, semi sweet colour and then going back in with the chocolate bar palette I'm going to take the darkest colour in it which is triple fudge and just apply a tiny bit of this to the outer corner and then slightly sweep it into the crease again just to darken it up. So just like that for eye colour and then if you get like a bit of fallout like I did at this outer corner here, I just like using a brush just to sweep it away. And then I'm going to go back in with salted caramel just to touch that crease up just another wee bit since I lost some of the colour with the darker browns. And 
and then taking a small um, pencil type brush I'm just going to go back in with semi sweet and run this on the lower lash line So that's really it for like eye colours and then I'm going to take the Rimmel, um, I can't remember the name of this pencil but it's I think it's Exaggerate um, Black Eyeliner, it's really creamy, it actually reminds me of the ones from Urban Decay. So we're just going to take this and put this on the waterline. So. just to give the eye a bit, a bit more definition. And then for my liquid liner, I'm going to use the 17 um, Tattoo Me Semi-Permanent Liquid Eyeliner and it's the colour Raven Black. This is one of my absolute favourite liquid liners because um, I get really watery eyes if I go into like, the sun um, sometimes and sometimes my liquid liner just runs. But this is fantastic and it's I can't recommend it enough. So we're just going to do a thin line of this and wing it out. So that's really it for the eyes. It's just really nice goldy toned smoky eye with some winged liner. So while I'm waiting for this liquid liner to dry, I'm just going to clean up some of the fallout I got from the shadow. Just with a big kabuki brush. And then I'm going to apply some mascara. And the mascara I'm using today is the Lash Sensational one from Maybelline. And then just some on the lower lash line, lower lashes. So that's really it for the eyes. I really love this look. I wear this near enough every day. It's just so pretty. And then if you wanted to like wear it on a night out, it works well for that too. I just love it. It's my favourite look ever. So what I'm going to do now is zoom out and show you what I'm going to do for the lips. So, oh, I'm zooming you in. <laughs> okay, so that's near, near enough the finished look. Just have to do the lips. Um, what I used in the rest of my face, I slightly contoured with the Maybelline Studio Sculpt Palette. Just contoured slightly with that and used the 
Melba, Melba Blush from MAC um, on the cheeks and then did a tiny bit of highlight with um, Soft and Gentle Highlighter from MAC. So for lips today I'm going to line with the Urban Decay um, lip pencil and it's the colour Lair. So we're just going to line the lips with this. And then I'm going to fill them in with Subculture um, Lip Pencil from MAC. And then to finish the lips off, I am going to use a new lip product I got um, today. It is the Matte Mean um, Matte Lip Gloss Lipstick type thing um, from Sleek Makeup. And it's the colour Birthday Suit and it's been sold out everywhere. So I had to buy it online. But it's like so pretty. It's like Kylie Jenner lips in a tube colour. Um, so we're just going to finish the lips and apply this. And that's really it for the finish look. It's just a nice nude tone smoky eye with some winged liner and then like a nude lip to finish it all off. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.